Alright then. So I just wanted to come out and make a video because by the time my current project is finished, this all would have been just old news and I would have, you know, missed the mark. I have been working on content for this channel since my last upload. It's just, it's quite a big video and so it's taking a very long time. Also life and stuff. At the beginning of that video, I had like a little bit, I had like a little bit of context about the whole Garden Warfare 2 situation and then my current thoughts at the time. And a week ago, my thoughts were, I'm sure the game's fine to play, but if you've got a name for yourself in this community, steer clear. But things just went from bad to worse recently. And uh, I figured I need to, you know, put something forward before things change or, or what. Because I've got some things to say. I think, first of all, I've not checked whether I've been banned yet. Because I know you can just be banned by someone going on your profile. This whole banning exploit thing, it's just kind of the final nail in the coffin. I, maybe for me personally, and for a lot of other people, but the thing with Garden Warfare 2 on PC is there has always been issues. And for whatever reason, I decided to switch full-time to using the PC version of Garden Warfare 2, and for some reason I kept coming back. Whether it was server issues, save data issues, hackers in general, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna keep coming back. And I think this whole hacker thing for me is just finally sent a message to my thick little brain. Stop. Stop coming back. Stop come crawling back every time there's an issue you can't play for a week, yet you come crawling back anyway. I've already declared Fuji the winner of the max rank war. Because he was way ahead of me, so. We can put we can put a lead on that, I think. So the timing of this whole banning exploit situation has come at a particular time for me personally. I've, I've taken on a lot of work and obviously I've just started my brand new uni course and I want to get the most out of it and pour as many hours into it as possible. And also, Garden Warfare 2 for me as a game to make content on, I've run the river dry and I'm sure you've, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that before, but if you've been around my content recently you'd have seen how weird and wacky it's been, right? Like overly dramatic, over edited content. I edited a video backwards, okay? Garden Warfare 2 is no longer creatively stimulating for me. I think I can offer a lot more creatively than just making content on that game. Like, I desperately need some other sort of outlet. And I've, you know, been managing and I've been finding things. It's, it, you know, it's why the current video I'm making is taking a while to come out. I mean, one, the fact it's a very long video, and two, the fact it's just... I don't want to work on it, because I don't have any drive to work on it. So when I sit down, I'd maybe do an hour before I'm off procrastinating and doing something else. I know I've, like, rambled on about more this channel and me personally than the situation of Garden Warfare 2. I'll link some good videos that cover what's going on if you want to know more. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I think now the temptation of making a Garden Warfare 2 video, just because I know it will do well, it's no longer there, because I can no longer make a Garden Warfare 2 video. I've got nothing with the game on that I could sit down and record. So I want to do other things. I don't want to be tempted to just play a Plants vs Zombies thing, because I know it will do well. Because that's how I end up creating things that I'm just not passionate about, and that don't really bring that much to the table. I will just interject here. Apparently, there's going to be some Garden Warfare 2 custom servers eventually. Those sound fantastic, and I will absolutely be playing those. But until then, I'm going to make a point to avoid PvZ and those games. And if that decision completely sinks this channel, and I get lost to the uh, endless content sea, then at least I tried. At least I gave it a go. But I think other than that, it's been amazing making content for this game, and the fact that I grew to the size I did when I did. Like, we're talking 2021 is when I really started kicking off, and that's like... That was like the no man's land of Garden Warfare 2, that was like the, the dead period. The, the doldrums of um, Garden Warfare content, and somehow managed to find an audience that was very clearly the month there. And I think over the two years it's been a pretty good run, and I've enjoyed it. And I just want to say thank you. If this is the last video of mine that gets recommended to you because I've decided to just completely bury my channel with awful SEO. And I look forward to surrendering myself to... I don't even know what the word would be. The 
Come on, something poetic, come on. Um, the infinite possibilities of the future.